But Wheels Not Heels has uh, nominated me for this Game of Four thing where you've got to talk about several subjects and tell about four of the things within that subject. The first one is drinks. Favourite drink and most important drink, water. Apparently none of us drink enough of it. It's a common reason for a lot of ailments. Uh, I'm pretty convinced as well by what I've read that if you did drink enough water through your life it would uh, actually help fight things like Alzheimer's and that later in years, which is really interesting. Um, my next favourite drink, as any of you would know who follow my little adventures, is coffee. Coffee. You can never have enough coffee. Well, yes, you can really, but you know what I mean. Next two favourite drinks I'm going to mention are both alcoholic. Um, beer and whiskey. Whiskey with an E. Has to be Irish whiskey or bourbon. Now, I make my own beer and whiskey. And they're all better than most of what you can buy. They're very good quality, excellent stuff. So those are drinks, food. Hmm, tricky one. Favourite food, it's something that's been changing in recent years. I would have said caramel slice not long ago. Especially the one made by my Auntie Anne makes the best caramel slice in the world. It's perfection. But it's a little bit sickly for me these days. and I, d I still really like chocolate, but basically dark chocolate. Um, other foods, vegetables and salads, lots and lots of those. With whatever protein I'm having, I like lots and lots of vegetables and salads. Some of my favourite proteins. Uh, there's a particular thing, it's um, salmon roasted in homemade pesto, which I make from herbs in my garden. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, what else would I particularly like? Oh yes, there's another wonderful meal we make in the slow cooker, which is um, lemon garlic chicken. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's food. Places I've lived. Okay. Well, I was born near the border in Northern Ireland, near the border with Southern Ireland, in a little village. My dad was the one of the village cops, and it was just as the troubles were starting, and the police station got blown up, and that got moved into the courthouse. So the courthouse got blown up. That got moved into the town hall. That got blown up. So they moved everything into the schoolhouse. So we moved to Belfast. That's the next place I lived, which I lived until I was 18, right up until 1978. In those times, Belfast was a great place to leave. Let's just leave it at that. Then I lived in London for a long time, then I came to Australia. Places I've been, not that many really, even though I've gone right around the world. Uh, I never went to Europe, which was a bit odd, since I was in Britain for 26 years. Never bothered. Wish I had now, and probably I will go back and check Europe out. But I'd have to say one of my all-time favourite places anywhere is a place called Brathlin Island, which is off the north east corner of Northern Ireland, between Scotland and Northern Ireland. And I spent a lot of time there, working there as a teenager, in the bar and on some of the small trawlers. And it's just an absolutely stunningly bleak, unique place, full of wonderful people. Uh, other places I've been, well I've obviously been on everywhere you've seen me go on my little tours. So I might just leave it at that. So there you go, I think, is that, is that all of it? Who am I asking? The viewers? I don't know if that's all of it. Places you've been, places you lived. What you like to eat, what you like to drink. Oh, names, what you've been called, okay. To start with, David. And if I hear David, I immediately think, well, it must be my mum talking, because most people call me Davy. Uh, 
two or three Australian people have tried calling me Deerville. May they rest in peace. I've also been called Dad. I think several million times I've been called Dad. I used to tell, especially my son, not to wear out the name. I used to tell him, you've said it seven million times already, not just this week. Dad, 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 Dad. Uh, called Captain Cranky, obviously. And something I was called when I was growing up in Belfast by my mother was you wee gobshite. Good on your mum, may you rest in peace. So there you go, I think that's my uh, game of four is done. So I'm not going to nominate anybody else. I'm just going to go for a ride. So if you feel like doing it, join in. Just call it Game of Fours and answer those questions that I vaguely answered. Thanks for watching. Ride safe. Captain Karanki out.